everything comes in a box, you know, kind of all your meat, so you don't really need to rush out and go grab anything. And be sure to, when you get it, refrigerate it so that way you don't get sick or anything like that. And, you know, obviously meat, it does go bad if it's not kept cold. Um, the box is pretty heavy itself. Obviously it comes with ice pack to keep your meat cold. Unless you do other packages, I'm not sure what all, I don't recall all the packages that it comes with, but I know obviously the meat needs to stay cold, so. I'm unraveling everything. Let's see, comes with, I mean, everything from cornstarch. So, you really don't have to do much guessing with this. Everything comes pre-measured. And let's pull this all out so that way we can see. And as I mix and cook for you, so yes, I'm not just about good looks. I can cook too. Y'all know I'm just playing. Oh. However, y'all do have to be careful because apparently things do get open through the packaging. And like this, may need to see if I have any uh, crushed organic tomatoes. Came open, unfortunately. I'm gonna put this off to the side. All right, so I've already disassembled the box. Um, I got out, it actually comes with enough food for two different meals. Um, mine came with the chicken cassoulet, I believe is how you pronounce it, and which is what we're gonna be cooking tonight. And then um, the sweet and sour pork, which will be on my next video, so be sure to stay tuned on that one. So again, you know, it's enough food for four people or to feed a family of four, depending on how hungry you are. You know, American nowadays, we, we love to eat, so. But yes, it came with everything that you need, including the, all the ingredients here. Um, it'll give you a breakdown of how to prepare it and what you'll need from your own kitchen. Um, it says from your pantry you're going to need uh, salt, pepper, paper towels, cooking oil, and olive oil, which I don't think we have here. Yes, we all have. We'll make do. And then uh, the tools you need is a knife, cutting board, cooking spoon, oven mitt, large oven safe saute pan, large bowl, small bowl, measuring cup, and can opener tongs. Plate, strainer, spoon, thermometer, that type of thing. So, I mean, unless you're that much of a chef where you don't need, you know, your thermometer, but we'll wing it, right? All right, so this is the chicken that it came with, the chicken thighs. Some pretty big pieces of chicken, it looks like. We'll see how big they are, really. And we're gonna start out by the first step, which is prepping the mushrooms and herbs. And it came with, what kind of mushrooms are these? Cremini? I'm not a chef, so if I butcher the names of these foods, you know, I'm human. At least I think so. All right, so these are the cremini mushrooms that it comes with. And I need that with um, the rosemary and thyme, which is pretty much already pre-measured out for you. So that makes it a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and chop up these. And the first step, or actually before I do that, I need to preheat my oven to 425. And then, you know, I'm going to clean up the mushrooms and get them prepped for the dish. So you could just de-stem the mushrooms if you want. I like the mushrooms, so I'm probably just going to leave the stems in there and then just chop them up very finely to throw them in the mill. Alright, so we have the mushrooms chopped up. Now we need to fine, roughly chop, or I'm sorry, de-stem the rosemary and thyme, which is right here. I'm going to do it off to the side so that way I can chop it up. I 
I think is how you do it. I've never dealt with these, so... Only one way to find out how to figure out how to do this stuff, right? Ooh, the time smells really good, though. Alright, and I'm supposed to be chopping this up very finely. I already know that I'm prepared for all the chef comments of how I'm not doing things right, so... I'm probably not, but I'm not a chef either, so... You gotta work with me. Alright, so I've already finally, or as finally as I can, get the, you know, the rosemary and thyme chopped up together. Pretty sure it needs to be a little bit more fine, but I'm not a pro, and that's about as good as it's going to get. So the next step, we're going to prep the, which is a part two, right here. We're going to prep the beans and breadcrumbs, which... So for our next step, it is prepping the beans and breadcrumbs, and it comes with the organic canola, canela <laughs> I cannot pronounce that for nothing. Um, these beans with the breadcrumbs, which I'm pretty sure it's coming up upside down for you, but I can read it and, I mean, once you do it, you can read it yourself. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to place the we're going to open and drain the beans place the crumbs in a small bowl with about a tablespoon of olive oil so we're going to mix that together all right so i've never cooked with these cannelli beans but these are what it looks like not of beans that i'm familiar with so these have been drained and rinsed and then i am pouring the breadcrumbs in here wait let me double check Okay, so I need to add, place Italian seasoning in a small bowl. Add about a tablespoon of olive oil. All right, so to make sure that I don't mess this up, I am, I've already drained and rinsed the beans. Now I'm going to combine the Italian bread crumb seasoning. Whee, as it goes down the slide and the one tablespoon of olive oil. We're gonna mix that together. Okay. And we're gonna mix that together. Whee! I like the smell of olive oil. Alright, so the next step we're going to be seasoning and searing the chicken. So, we're going to take our, our herbs, which is right here, the ones we finally chopped up, or I finally chopped up, which is about as good as it's going to get. It's supposed to be marinating, rubbing it on here, let's see, and then we're also going to salt and pepper this. So, let's see, season both sides of the chicken. With most of the herbs, reserve the rest. So I guess I'll only do a little bit of it, so I guess that's enough. <laughs> um, then we heat about half, one and a half tablespoons of cooking oil in a large saute pan over medium heat. Add the chicken to the hot pan, and we're going to um, skin side down. So, okay, I guess both of these are going to be, I guess this is skin side down? We'll figure it out. <laughs> Um, and sear it for about five to seven minutes or until the skin is golden and crisp. Then we're going to flip over and cook for two minutes and then we're going to transfer the chicken to a plate. Probably a clean plate. That might be smart to do. So we're going to go ahead and sear that over. Alright, so we're going to sear this chicken skin side down, which I'm not sure which way it is for some of these. I don't have a pair of tongs, so I'm improvising, so work with me, guys.
All right, remember skin side down. we've cooked it a little bit we're going to remove it from the plate or from the pan and set it to the side for the instructions I'm so scared of this pop in if y'all hear me scream like a little girl y'all know I got pop <laughs> all right so luckily there's not that much fat left so we don't need to really drain it and this is about the amount that it says that we need to leave for our next step which is work on the vegetables and we're going to throw the mushrooms in there love me some mushrooms all right so we got the mushrooms going Ooh, it's starting to smell good too yeah that i'm hungry i'm not sure all right, so we got the mushrooms going, and we've already got the celery and carrots. We're going to toss in there. Luckily, that's already chopped up for us. We ain't got to worry about that. Come on, get out the bag. You're going to get eaten anyway. Come on, get out. Okay, I'm about that stuff. We're going to get. <laughs> and then the last thing is the organic yellow onions and garlic. Oh, I know it's going to really smell good after that. Ooh, that garlic is strong. Or onions, I'm not sure which. I like both, so it really doesn't matter. Come on, get out. Alright, so we're going to saute this up a little bit. Mmm. We're going to sprinkle a little bit of a pepper on here. I think if there's anything left in here. Oh, there it goes. Alright, if I start sneezing, y'all know why. Because I can't see how much pepper I'm putting in this thing. And instead of using regular salt, try to make the best out of a bad situation and ugh, okay and I use Himalayan salt so we're gonna but go easy on this because this is a lot stronger than regular salt so just a couple sprinkles should do I'm not a big salt fan so just do it a little bit and just mix it up All right, so we've sauteed our vegetables for a little bit. This is saute for about four minutes. I know, TV time. It makes everything speed up so much faster. I just wish uh, on this end it was as quick. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to build the cassoulette. And we're going to bake and build it. So we're going to use the remaining herbs, which I've already thrown in there with the mushrooms. And we're going to add in... A cup of water. Our beans. Ooh, that sounds funny. All right, and our crushed tomatoes. Unfortunately, we don't have as much as it's. I'm sure it's supposed to because a lot of it spilled out. But we're going to make do with what we got. Probably should have put the water in there. It may have made more sense. All 
All right, due to the circumstances of having some of our crushed tomatoes already opened whenever we got the package, I went ahead and added my own uh, diced tomatoes. And I love tomatoes, so it kind of works out pretty well. All right, so then we got to add our chicken back to this. Add our chicken back into that and kind of bury it a little bit. So we can get some more of the seasonings and things like that in there. We didn't say that, but I like making my own rolls, so that's why we're making this dish. All right, and then we gotta stick it in the oven for about 15 to 18 minutes. All right, so now after it's been in the oven, um, before we get back, before we start that, make sure that you have a pan that is made to be cooked in the oven because as you can see <laughs> we did not <laughs> and so we're making do with what we got um but the next step is after it's been in the oven for about 15 minutes or yeah about 15 minutes we're going to sprinkle on the breadcrumbs that we mixed earlier with the olive oil so we're just gonna mix that on Pretty. It's snowing breadcrumbs. Okay, that doesn't work too well. <laughs> and when in doubt, just use your hands. Makes it prettier that way, anyways. Whee! So here is my finished product. I may have kind of sort of accidentally left it in the oven just a, you know, a couple of seconds too long, but it's not too badly toasted <laughs> with a one handle <laughs> or a handleless pan. So um, I'll let you know what the verdict is about the taste. In the meantime, we're going to make the side salad because you can't have an entree without a salad. Or side. All right, so we have our main entree setting and cooling off a little bit before we stuff our face. Um, and then we have our side salad. Pretty basic. It comes with just organic baby kale and some radishes, which I've already chopped up. And then finally, it comes with the organic honey Dijon balsamic vinaigrette dressing. So you're just going to go ahead and throw that all together and you've got your side salad. I'll put it together and we can test it out together. Hopefully yours came out a little bit better than mine. <laughs> Alright, so here's our finished plate. And I'm going to try out the little, I guess, dressing or whatever you want to call it out before I eat the chicken itself. See how that tastes. Okay, my... Let it cool down a little bit first. It's not too bad. I think it needs a little bit more flavor though. But I don't care for the breadcrumbs that fell in the sauce and didn't crisp up. Kind of gives it a soggier taste to it, but maybe it may be, it may be because of the extra tomatoes that I had to throw in there because I didn't have enough tomato sauce. So I think that may have kind of changed it up a little bit. And let's see. Let me try this out a little bit more. Not too bad. I'm not sure if it's my bad cooking. <laughs> I promise I can cook better than this. Or if it's, you know, due to the tomato paste or organic crushed tomatoes that came with it. I'm not sure what caused it to change the flavor up some. I 
far as the chicken. Probably just needs to be mixed up a little bit more because the chicken is kind of um, bare. Don't really have too much flavor to it. So that is the first menu item for the organic chef. Or I'm sorry, for the green chef. Everything's organic, so that's the reason why I said organic chef. So for my wrap up for the green chef, um, I like the fact that it came with everything that you need or majority of what you need, you know, outside of course, pots and pans and things like that. And you know, a little bit of salt and pepper, you know, just a few of the basics that you should have at home. Um, as far as the flavor, I need some more seasoning. I really do. Um, that's one thing I'm a bit disappointed with. It needs a little bit more seasoning. The chicken's kind of plain. Um, maybe I didn't marinate it right, or, but then again, based off the instructions, it really didn't say anything about marinating it, so. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, I'd give it, for as, as far as the meal for the chicken cassoulet, I'd probably give it maybe a 4 out of 10 in the lower end. And that's just me being generous, just because, like I said, it lacks that much flavor. And it does take quite a bit of time to cook. It takes 45 minutes. Um, but as far as the quantity that you get, it's, you know, a pretty good size. I think a family of four could easily eat off of it, unless it's for adults. Um, but stay tuned for the next episode. I guess that's what you would call these. Yeah, episode. So we're going to be doing the sweet and sour pork. And hopefully it's not a complete disaster like this one was. And... I'll give you my verdict on this one. Until next time, y'all stay jazzy. Thanks. Bye.